I can only build with the color white. What do you think the wheel will decide for us this time? First, let's find out our plot size. Will it be big? Will it be small? Oh, medium, 20 by 20. How many rooms will we build? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or t 10? Oh geez. <laughs> This will be interesting. Let's find out what each room will be. Number one, a plant room. Number two, a bathroom. Number three, another bathroom. Number four, a kitchen. Number five, a library. Number six, a living room. Number seven, a bedroom. Number eight, a bedroom. Number nine, another bedroom. And number 10, there's a storage room. Our house will be two floors and the style is gonna be cute. All right, looks like we're building a cute house in a 20 by 20 plot with 10 rooms. Is this build familiar to you? If you guessed X-Life, you'd be correct. I loved my X-Life build, and since our color is white, I felt that it was fitting to rebuild my floating cloud house. Because my plot size is 20 by 20, this house is a slightly smaller version of the original, but still cute. I felt like the shape of this house was perfect for how many rooms we have to make because, well, the house is basically a giant plus sign, and that gives us lots of little areas to build in. Let me show you the inside. As we float on up to our cloud and hope up our iron door this is what you see we have this first little area to build in that will probably be a storage room obviously we have these really cool stairs uh, i found these i thought they were perfect because yes they take up a lot of space but because there's space between them you can still kind of see through it so it's not like too claustrophobic but anyway, over here we could have a library, over on the opposite side we could have a living room, behind me we could have a kitchen, and then everything else will go upstairs. Uh... Wait, do you see this? What? Wait! Go downstairs, go downstairs! Look at how you walk up these steps. It's like, I'm floating and walking? Weird. <laughs> But now that we're up here, um, this is gonna be a plant room. This will be the first bedroom, that'll be a bathroom. This will be the second bedroom, and this will be a bathroom. And then over here, we'll have a pet room. Starting downstairs in the kitchen, we can place a bunch of lower and upper cabinets. That's a sink, no. Over here, we could have our sink. And I actually have like five different refrigerators. I don't, hold on, look. So we could pretend that our fridge is this cupboard like I've been doing for a while. We have this fridge, we have this fridge, we have this fridge, and we have this fridge. <gasps> this one's cute. <gasps> I wanna use this one. Let's put a furnace over here and see how this looks. Above that, we could have this little thing. We should probably add another cabinet over here to make this entire area feel put together. And then above the cabinets, we'll add a bunch of white trap doors. Ta-da! Okay, now let's see. I have some white paper towels. I have a white soap set. Yes, the little bar of soap is blue, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and add an island to the center of this space. We could add some white bar stools, a couple of pretend white pillow plates, and above the island, we can have some lanterns. I decided that I just like the trap doors above the cabinets, so I have destroyed them. And instead, I just want to add a bunch of these bookshelves. Now, because this kitchen has these awkward little corners, we could kind of fill the space a little bit more by making some baby tables that have trap doors and adding some plants. Now, I would put food out on the table, but I don't have much food that's just white in my game. So the only food that we have in our kitchen is an egg. Moving on to the library, we're gonna fill this place with bookshelves. Beautiful. Now obviously, we need a place to sit and read these books. So we could put a couch like this and a couch like this. On the floor, we can add a bit of carpet, maybe add some ceiling lights, and then we can add our books. In the living room, 
bathroom, we obviously need a TV on the wall. Below that, we could have some of these white storage bins. And then on top of these, we could have some white creeper statues. We could put a sofa over here, a sofa over here. And then because there's like uh, this weird, awkward space behind these sofas, we're gonna add some more of these storage bins and lamps. On either side of these tiny baby windows, we could add some of these banners to pretend they're cozy curtains. We could put a coffee table between the couches, surrounded by some carpet. We could add a few of these pillows to sit on. And we can add fairy lights. Ta -da! For the storage room, because it's kind of also the entryway and a little small, let's keep it simple. We could put some of these white baskets on the floor by the windows. We could add a couple of cupboards. And then on top, we can add the tiny cubbies. All around this entryway, we could add a bunch of item frames. And we can use these to display a bunch of random blocks. We could have wool, terracotta, glass, a shulker box, glazed terracotta, concrete, striped blocks, planks, snow, diorite, and a birch log. On the floor by the door, we could have a welcome mat slash baby carpet. We could add some pretty white flowers to these empty spaces by the windows. And on the ceiling, we can add some lights. Now for the upstairs, I did not do what I did downstairs. And I should probably do that. I realized what I just said clarifies nothing. Um, basically, I mean, I didn't put walls up here like I put walls downstairs. And I feel like we're gonna have to do that to separate these spaces a bit. Okay, how's that? I think that works. There is a little bit of a hazard since I don't have a space to put a railing up over these stairs now. So you could just fall. But it's fine. All right, after a little tweaking, this is what we have. Starting with the plant room, we can make a couple of white trap doors for our plants to sit on. Maybe we can try using some of these shelves. And then I wanna have some hanging pots. And this one, we can have an azure bluette. Here we can have a lily. Over here, we can have a tulip. And then we can add a flowering oak sapling. On the floor in front of the window, we could add a bunch of taller plants, like this one, this one, and this one. And then on either side of these shelves that I made, we could put a cactus in the middle with some smaller potted plants on either side. Then because these shelves actually display items, we can display a bunch of flowers like this. Now for both of these bedrooms and bathrooms, since they're opposite of each other, I want to make them the same. We could place a bed in the middle of the star window, surrounded by some slabs to hide the wooden uh, bed posts. On either side of the bed, we could add some nightstands with lamps on them. And then in both these corners, I want to add some cubbies. Put two baskets on the bottom, a baby cubby on top. We could add a lily, a banner for decoration, and a moonlight. To fill up the space even more, we could add some cupboards for closet space, a box cubby on top, the entire entire area above the bed can be filled with bookshelves. And finally, we can add some fairy lights. <laughs> um, I just realized that these bathrooms are really small. <laughs> I only have nine blocks to work with, but that's okay. I like a challenge, but hopefully I can fit everything I want in here. We can start like we normally do by adding a sink with a counter. We could have a mirror surrounded by some vanity lights. Then of course we have to have some soap. Over here we can add some towels. And with that, we're left with six blocks of space. Oh geez. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, let's just shove the toilet in the corner. Um, and then the toilet paper. No, that's weird. The toilet paper can go here. I could put some more towels here. And then all I have left for a shower is this spot. Okay, luckily I have this really cool white modern shower head and I guess to kind of separate it from the rest of the space, we could just add a few glass panes. Does that work? I think that works. As a final touch, we can just add a carpet by the sink and then we can add a door. What? Um. Where did that music come from? That was really weird. <laughs> okay, game's haunted, moving on. The last room to decorate is the pet room. What is white, fluffy, and looks like a cloud? A sheep! A well friend. <gasps> oh my gosh, because of my overalls, we matched today! This is so cute. I actually want a little bit more light in here, so I'm gonna break this part of the wall and just add some more glass in. Then, I kinda just wanna make this entire area look like a giant cloud. So, we can pile up a bunch of wool, add a bunch of cozy carpets, we'll put a fence and a gate in just so my beautiful little sheepy friend doesn't fall down to their death. And, you wanna see something cool that I found? I did not know that I had this in my game, but I present to you a bottled cloud. Ta-da! Look at it! It's like a little floating cloud, it's so cool! Unfortunately, they, um, they don't last. They kind of evaporate. 
but they're so pretty. But okay, everything's done, so let's go on a tour. As you saw before, this is the outside of our beautiful floating cloud house. And then as we head inside, the first thing we see is the storage room that's, well, full of storage <laughs> and blocks. To the left of this entry storage space, we have a living room with some beautiful white sofas, some white lamps, banners, fairy lights, and cubbies. Next to this, we have a very white kitchen with beautiful lanterns, some pretend pillow plates, we got a cool fridge, some paper towels, and we have an egg. Over here, we have a simple library with some couches and a bunch of books. And then as we slowly go up these stairs, you'll first see the plant room with a bunch of different plants that I know are mostly green but there are some that are white, like the tulips and the lilies and stuff. On both sides of this plant room, we have mirrored bedrooms and bathrooms. So over here, we have a bedroom with a big bed, lamps, storage, a bunch of decorations and fairy lights. And over on this side, we have the same thing. The only thing that is slightly different is that in this... It's the button. The button. The button is making sounds and my- Why? As I was saying though, this bathroom has the toilet and towels on the left side with the shower on the right side, but this bathroom has the toilet and towels on the right side and the shower on the left side. So they are exactly the same, but opposite. And finally, we have the adorable pet room that looks like a cloud for my sheep. What's your favorite part of this build? For me, it's the bedrooms. Those rooms are really nice. Oh, but also the sheep room, obviously. But let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.